Islam, Salam, Hatep, Islam, Chief Noble Bandele, Gino Lako Ninani, Chief Noble Bandele, El Amin, back again for another video, um, continuing on our ventures with the diet, or what we call liveth, but our particular diet and how we're designed to eat in this society. Um, like we talked about in the other video, we as melanated people have been accustomed to eating a non-melanated diet. And we are trying to show as melanated Moorish um, people that we have to get back into the culture of things, which means to get back into our daily habits of eating the right type of food that will activate our bodies to the highest potential. So, with this video, uh, what we're doing is doing a video where we're going into a big grocery store to some people uh, in the Midwest, in the Ohio, Miami region, it's called the Jungle Gems. Uh, you know, Jungle Gems is a big store, it has a lot of food from different cultures and it also has a lot of your holistic or organic food so we took a trip there and uh i want you to check it out peace yo and uh we are up in jungle gyms and i wanted to show you some things because uh jungle gyms is a more of a specialty store it's a big store but it's a specialty store so unlike kroger's and places like Walmart and Myers, Jungle Gyms has a lot of a bigger selection of natural or healthy organic stuff. Um, so you have right here the nuts, organic dried mulberries, goji berries, crystallized ginger. You know, stuff like that. Then it's got your organic. It's got your organic nuts. Woolstock is a pretty good brand. Tumaris. Pumpkin seeds is good for the prostate. You know. But then you, uh. That's on the red meals, you know. Kroger do have that. Right here is superfoods, though. Super blends. Got your uh, cacao, coconut sugar, all that. Check it out. More nuts. Nuts, you know, ultimate source of protein. You know, part of the paleo, so-called paleo diet. Okay, now this is like Kroger, but to the next level, as you see. This is the red meal. These are all the grains, though. So it's got that Camu we talked about, but it's got all the other uh, kind of grains. Buckwheat. A lot of people don't use buckwheat. Couscous. Wheat berries. All that. Blue cornmeal, you know, people don't understand it's actually blue corn, you know, it's not just yellow. <sighs> we got all the hot cereals, so it's more cereal than just oatmeal. Uh, Quaker Oats is, uh, you know, the processed European. But we got here the old brands. Okay. All the flowers. Okay. So you get a lot of uh, a variety in here that you wouldn't get at your, like I said, your regular stores. You know, even though the big stores, super stores, they don't compare to this. Raw almond flour, y'all. Okay. Quinoa again, 
quinoa are native foods. One of the originating foods. Kombucha is good for probiotics, which is good for uh, overall health, which are in your intestinal tract, helping your probiotics and your body balances out your um, your bacteria, your good and bad bacteria. So, yeah. and oil is a very important part of the diet. Getting good oil helps keep the body lubricated, helps give you your EPAs, or so. Let's look at the certain ones now. They got some canola and stuff up here, but really what you really want to deal with is the olive oil. So they got the olive oil. They got the extra virgin olive oil. But then we got the coconut oil, which is, I think, a little bit lighter. And actually, I think it's better overall. has a higher amount of your vitamins and it's considered like an organic superfood, so they got a pretty good selection over here. Hey, and this right here are great uh, meat alternatives for people who are vegan, vegetarian, which, you know, that would be our predominantly how we um, would have eaten anyway. So, you know, um, these are a little bit of processing of course but if you look like this brand of field roast many people are familiar with field roast um, a great alternative to a meat um, especially these down here if you haven't tried these frankfurt is probably one of the best of the, of the uh, kind of hot dog a lot of the hot dogs are imitating and, and they, are, they really are nasty so that's just my opinion but you got, then you got like a lot of this. Now this is soy, so you got to be aware when you uh, eat a lot of soy, especially for men. But something to eat as a uh, alternative from now and then would not be bad. These are really pretty good, um, the Gardein brand. He's been popular in the, probably the past five years. They got a good selection over here. Okay, you see we in the gluten-free section. Um, now they do have a lot of juices now you know if you're becoming consciously aware of your food it's best to get more natural type juice um, the nuts and brand you can find these at Kroger's or whatnot too but they do have a pretty decent selection for the prune juice you know to clean you out <laughs> but you got apple juice organic you know which is key the organics, the grapefruits, the apple, gourmet. They got a, lot, a big thing going now is the acai berry. They got the blueberry. And so, you know, these are all, but you don't have sugar or none of that. Let's look at one of them. You see ingredients, water blueberry juice concentrate so it don't even have no sugar added so you're finding that you know our ancestors didn't eat sugar now these are we're in a supplement section which this brand is nature's way familiar kind of familiar with nature's way um, nature's way is it's okay you know it's it's got magnesium stearate in all these what let's hit the bottom magnesium stearate check those out man it's in a lot of stuff but if you can get past that or get capsules you'll see they have a pretty okay selection now there, there are other stores that I'll probably get to later that maybe have a bigger selection but a lot of times we need supplements because we're not getting them in our diet so you can see they got a decent selection these right here are herbs that are for your uh, they're liquid extracts which are probably the most I won't say potent but they get into your system probably the fastest so a lot of times we use the liquid 
you can get things usually in a liquid form like this or in a capsule form like that or a lot of times you can get it in a tea form which I may not see but as you look you got the now brand here that's good I like now brand for the most part okay now we got here this looks like the green sections the greens which greens is very important as we've talked about on our other video dealing with uh, your chlorophyll and how the chlorophyll can purify the blood well uh, one brand I do like is the Garden of Life. It's the raw, organic, perfect food. This is probably the best stuff y'all can you can get on the market. Uh, well, I won't say you know it's, it's it's up there. You can see what's in it. Hopefully, it's got a lot of stuff. I mean, it's got your uh, organic beets, organic broccoli. You know, organic spinach, organic tomatoes, organic pineapple. Then it's got flax meal. Then it's got your raw pri your, uh, probiotic enzymes. So it's got everything in this. This is a really good one to get, though. So you might want to check that out. We do need that. The spirulina, these things, things that we used in this original state. You know, when we moved to the coastlines, we ate a lot of fish and algae, a lot of that. So you'll see that. And right, now this right here is something special. Some of our ancestors did eat insects as a source of protein, I would say. This right here is chocolate dipped insect. Okay. You got the original, original worm snack. Barbecue, okay. So, chocolate covered grasshoppers, chocolate covered super worms, and even in this, like a lollipop. Crazy, right? But actually, it is a good source of protein. I don't do it, but. Organic USDA. Organic, you're not in there. <laughs> she don't want to be on the camera. We got, when we talked about juice, like these all juices are fruit juices, nothing added. All these are juice concentrates. All these are pretty much. No added, nothing added. These are smoothies, but then we got all the organic apples and other fruits. You see this one right here. The orange mandarin gold. Look how bumpy it is. Like this looks like an orange, uh, a bad orange or something. But actually, this is a. Uh, Mandarin. All this is organic. Got the organic vegetables. Organic, see that kale on sale. Organic vegetables. We're gonna get some of this too. I get that organic, man. That's the best way. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's better than what you're getting when you get the chemicalized food that's on steroids. So you got the kale, all this different type of kale. Wheatgrass. Some of y'all do wheatgrass. Uh, you know, Dr. Sabi say stay away from that wheatgrass. Uh, you know, it causes cystity, but some people do actually get benefit from wheatgrass. So you got all these. So when you get these things, man, get it organic. It's pretty good. You got a pretty good amount in here. Yams. You know, yams is definitely part of African and indigenous.
indigenous traditions. We got we got this one here. It's like a like a Japanese yam. And we got like the red sweet potato yam here. And these are organic. Oh right. Now for our melanated people from in the Malaysia, Thailand, we got this fruit right here, the durian fruit. It's supposed to be the king of fruit in Thailand. Look at this. It's uh looks very exotic, very hard case on the on the on the exterior, so you gotta break it open. All right, plantains. This is a staple in the southern region of the Americas. So you'll find this like in Guatemala, uh, Jamaica, you know, Caribbean, different places like that. But you'll find them, they're like, they look like, you know, bananas, but they're not. And uh, they're be cooked. And depending on how they're cooked, they can be very tender and very sweet. Kambocha squash, the red Japanese potatoes, these are sweet potatoes. These are actually coconut. So you see coconut different ways. You got the Dominican brown coconut. Then you even got the Hawaiian, yeah, Hawaiian plantains, man. These are uh, a little greener over here. Now, this is that guava. A lot of people are talking about that guava. Right here, you can see it. Uh, I'm about to open it up, they're gonna be mad. But, I just want you to see it, look. Bumpy, like, substance. But this is in a lot of the drinks as well. They got little baby bananas. Oh man. Look at these. Look at these. What are these? I don't even know. This is like like they're from Ecuador. So you got all these different fruits. You got all these. Is it which one? What's the name of this one? Okay. Chirimoa. It might be the Chirimoa. Yeah. These are the key limes. If you're gonna get limes. They say get key lines, y'all. Yeah, we can grab some of these too, so. You know, we got a few things going on in there. See the ones right here, man. These right here. I see these are very colorful. They're Californian, but I mean, they are pretty exotic. I have heard these are high in vitamin C. Um, they're like, what are they called? Kiwanos? Kiwano melons. A different type of uh, bananas. Got the red bananas. I'm saying it's so much. People were brought here and also came from other parts of the Americas that were. Uh, you know, taken their identity taken, and because of these things, the diet even changed. Um, you understand that when the Europeans did come to America, that they initially they terraformed the land. So what you see today is the land that, uh, with the apple trees and all the different type of uh, plants, were really not the same plants that were originally here when um, the indigenous people were here. Um, not even a lot of the animals that are here were um, the indigenous to this land. 
particularly rats, you know, that was not something that was really here. But I mean, more like all other things like the pig, um, other other type like the boar. These things weren't necessarily here in that way until the Europeans brought them here. And these things helped terraform the land to a more of a diet that they were accustomed to. So even with the indigenous people here in America, they've been robbed and the uh, information um, about their diet and their actual diet, the actual foods that they once um, cultivated were basically wiped out. Um, so, you know, it's hard to find. You know, if you go into indigenous land, indigenous areas of uh, South America and the Mexican, uh, Mexico area, you will find some of these things, but for the majority, a lot of this has been uh, wiped out for the majority of people that's indigenous now. So, uh, we have to understand that. So, I, you know, hope that this gives you a better understanding of some of the issues. And you know, I hope you look at this video and you can see the kind of different tropical foods and um, different type of vegetables and different type of uh, just like vegetarian type diet lifestyle that you can actually have and be uh, thrive in this time and day and age um, you know the industry is changing where they're they're able to see that you know eating natural foods is, is a productive um, um, market you know like they can make money so you know I hope that you know, you see in this video, other videos like this, you know, you'll be able to see how melanated people are supposed to eat and and the availability of these foods, even at your local, like at your local grocery store, like Kroger, you know, or your specialty like uh, Jungle Gym, you know, so peace and love to the family.